Hello and welcome to the Three Will Podcast. This is your host Danny, and I'm here, with Danny Ryan, and I'm here with Tommy Ryan. How are you doing, Tommy? I'm doing good, Danny. Yeah, great to see you. Yes, it's a Friday, not a Thursday. Not a Thursday. So. So, and you still wore fancy uh, socks, I, I see. I did, I and like I don't it. see your socks. You no. said you're going to get some fancy yeah, socks. Yeah, I wore them on Thursday. Yeah, that's okay. what I did. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I did get some for my birthday from okay. Kaylee, so we picked out some pretty fancy ones. How do you so I like will... them? They're nice. Mm-hmm. They're nice. It's a little different. Um, so you're used to trying to take socks and match them up with my wardrobe or match them up whatever mm-hmm. and now i just i don't care just throw them on the fan the crazy the colors yeah, on it's there, got yeah. all the colors <laughs> who cares just wear it but they're fun i like it at least uh it's a little bit of a way of relaxing and wearing something a little different so it's cool so let's talk about today sharepoint roadmaps and uh, i guess you're coming off of uh, some conversations with clients about Roadmaps. What do, what do we typically do when we're talking? What, what is a SharePoint road, roadmap? Let me, let, let's let's just start with that. Well, when we work with clients, we we do product backlogs to envision what the customer needs to do, and and when we look at that, that's usually on a project by project basis. Uh, we talk about a need, we scope it out, mm-hmm. we deliver against that, and then someday in the future we might reengage to do the next thing. Okay. A roadmap is is kind of looking out in advance and saying, what is the chain of projects or mm-hmm. chain of phases, milestones um, that need to be achieved um, as it relates to you know, the use of SharePoint and the organization. Nice. Um, so it, it allows some big picture, mm-hmm. um, allows to, um, you know, paint what the future is going to look like and not get anxious about, well, I want to be able to do this. Yes, we're yep. going to do that, but that's in the second release of, of the features that are coming out on the roadmap. And probably anybody who's doing SharePoint, right? Sort of, sort of like my philosophy, I think I heard it originally from someone from uh, Jive Software, which is your website's never done, your SharePoint's never mm-hmm. done. It's sort of your thinking of what am I doing next and where, where are we, there's always ways of getting more out of it and sort of talking about what the future is going to look like with it. How does it, does this tie into, I guess you're, you're talking about organizationally, um, what are some of those objectives in the next couple of months to years and trying to sort of fit in where SharePoint goes to those objectives? Definitely. I mean, this organization, uh, they're a financial based institution mm-hmm. that has a lot of contracts, a lot of um, documents that tie into the assets that they manage. And um, they have a uh, a, a, a certain way, a certain taxonomy mm-hmm. for how they describe that type of information. And they're going from being on file shares to going to SharePoint. And they've tried SharePoint three different times. So, you know, this time, the third or fourth time is going to be the, the charm. Fourth, fourth <laughs> time is the charm. If they would have brought us in for the third time, yeah, that would have been... Could probably done say, it could have been saved, probably saved some money too. That would be right, nice. Right, right. So good, good. Th- th- there's some aggressive goals. Uh-huh. Uh, this organization really has some bright individuals that know what they want. And mm-hmm. there's a lot that things that they want to accomplish. And there's also a certain, um, I would say, timidness to saying, is SharePoint going to do this? And we want to not bite off more than w- what we can chew. Yeah. So taking a, a roadmap approach and, and having certain releases over time versus trying to crunch that all into one mm-hmm. project, one release, um, we're allowing the, the organization to go after what's the highest business value of what makes sense in terms of their adoption level of the platform mm-hmm. and go after those things, measure that success, come back and go after the next thing and have a view of what that next thing is. Yep. And, and with our organization, you know, we know that things change, but it's good to have kind of placeholders of this is where we're going to go next. If we have better ideas, mm-hmm. we'll switch those out. But at least it allows us to get a sense of what's coming. Yep. What kind of budget do we need to accomplish those types of goals? Mm-hmm. And how far do we need to spread these things apart to allow the organization to finance it to be able to adopt it and absorb it as an organization yeah this is getting to be the time of the year where folks start you know start where actually they've already started you know asking for budgets sort of rom cost on things for the upcoming year and 
um, somewhat at trying to evaluate projects where I think we're a place where I, I typically, you know, going into the fall, do a lot of like t-shirt sizing. We're just sort of saying, well, this sounds like it's a, you know, hundred K project or just some, something where they, you know, where they can make a decision. They can make a decision. They just sort of, you know, it, it, it's just a high level, rough order of magnitude, you know, that, so that they can say, well, maybe we, this is too big of a project or we could fit a couple of these in next year just so that they can start making some decisions on, and on priority for the next year or what, what they're going to do the next year. Right. And this is in that same vein yeah. of, you know, they're trying to begin with the end in mind of where they want to be. And that might not be something they can accomplish in one year. Mm -hmm. So our roadmap not only does it lay out um, what are those time frames where things are going to get done, mm -hmm. but it has the detail of all that backlog that fits into each of those releases, and it has corresponding budget. Mm -hmm. So that way there's a heads up and an and a understanding of what is the commitment to get mm -hmm. there. And you know this particular organization, they... Um, they integrated not only doing the development effort or the configuration effort of SharePoint, mm -hmm. but also the aspects of training and ramping up the organization and sustaining that solution in between the times that we're building the next release. Mm -hmm. So it, it really is a full vision of what do we need to do to be successful and not just take it from a standpoint of I need to do this type of thing inside of SharePoint mm -hmm. and and do that in a couple of months and then think that SharePoint is going to be successful by just going after one project. It seems like it's um, probably, especially for larger organizations, you know, the, the IT organization itself is trying to come up with a roadmap and these got these different technologies that are different areas that they could focus in on where we typically come in and is helping on the things that are, you know, SharePoint related because of our experience and background. Right. But there's sort of organizations where that's, that's a cre that that's a key part of what they're going, where they need to go. And it's a big part of where they need to go. But in the end, these, a lot of these, um, estimates and projects, they're being weighed against other IT budget, you know, other things that they could do as well. And they're trying to, to decide, hey, do we, move, do we move forward with, I was actually having a conversation with someone this morning about um, uh, at a client site where they were, you know, this year we're going to be focusing in on this on SharePoint. Next year we have this ERP project next year. They're trying to sort of fit in these projects as far as where they go and what they can take on as an organization. Right. Uh, so it's sort of interesting to also to sort of see it not just, you know, everybody's just doing SharePoint, but that's one component of an overall IT budget and sort of helping them make good decisions with regards to SharePoint at least. Right. Yeah, you kind of look you're looking at it at a macro level mm -hmm. where when we look at a product backlog for a particular project, yep. as we're sizing things and saying this is so big, this is so big. Mm -hmm and it's got that shopping cart of yep. all these features, um, they're, you know, within that project, they're trying to decide what gets done, what doesn't get done. And then when you look at it at the macro level of, this is the overall project cost, yeah. compared to other projects in terms of their cost, they can make that decision of slotting now, what order do these things it's like, go? It's more, it sounds like a portfolio management type That's problem right. where people are weighing one project versus another. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I think a lot of what you do in a product backlog probably could be applied to it at that level. Yeah, same same principles. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, th I, think uh, I wonder if a lot of people are doing that, if that's what typically folks do. Um, and then do, also that, sorry, Dan. Yeah, the, sure. Also that concept of estimation when we're in this um time of the year, a lot of people are preparing for those budgets. We do a lot of ROM estimates yeah. where we go at a higher level. You might even say at the feature group level where you're mm -hmm. saying, I need to import data, export data. Yeah. I need to update my UI. And we go after those um, types of product backlog to come up with a high level budget, mm -hmm. which is different than a, say, a project level budget that we're going to um, get the funding and commit to and go yep. after, but it's more from a decision making yeah. standpoint. So, um, one organization we're working with, they have, um, three or four different SharePoint migrations and we have to estimate it at a high level. What yeah. are those efforts? So they can look at it and say, 
do I do them all together or do I do them one after another and spread it out across a couple of years? Nice, nice. Is this something, um, is doing the roadmap with them, is that part of an engagement? Is it something we do for free? Is it something that, how, is it, we just do it for existing clients? How, is that, how does that work? What is, Most of the time it's part of an engagement. Yeah. So if, if there's a, a, a client that's looking to engage us to set the vision with them, to mm-hmm. understand what they're trying to accomplish and lay that out in a roadmap, It really is an analysis type engagement Mm -hmm. where we're going through that and the the roadmap is an output of that. Mm -hmm. Also, we take the time to do a high level design type document. You know, we're not really big into a lot of documentation, but we find that a high level design document allows us to say, we're trying to go out this far. Mm -hmm. And so what needs to be put in place as the foundation to get there? Or what things do we need to take into consideration along the way, knowing that we want to reach this ultimate goal? Mm-hmm. So that analysis engagement is going through and vetting out a lot of the early backlog, um, really understanding the business. Mm-hmm. So we're applying the right parts of the technology to support the business mm-hmm. and getting a better understanding of that organization's maturity level of embracing the platform Mm -hmm. so we are going after the right things at the right time so that is typically not like a traditional project estimate yeah Um, it really takes a lot of commitment and time from three wall and from the client and so that could happen in a matter of you know weeks it could go as long as is is a month or so longer analysis we have we have and and it's funny i think our organization gets antsy with some of the times that we do these roadmaps because we love to implement. So there's a little bit of we're pulling back on the reins and saying, let's take some time to really understand what Mm -hmm. this organization is trying to do. Mm -hmm. And that's a good investment. Not all customers really think in that perspective. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. You know, the customer that I just came from a a retrospective, we're talking about, you know, how did things go? It's amazing how small that organization is and how, committed and how much they went into investing into a roadmap, yeah. um, which you would think you'd see in the, in the multi-billion dollar companies. Um, but this organization is just serious about being successful. Sounds like they're well on their way to being a multi-billion dollar. You know, they, yes, they, they're yes. making yeah. good investments, it, mm-hmm, sound, it mm-hmm. sounds like. Um, that's great. And I know for, for, uh, for folks who are listening, if you're just looking to get a estimate on a project for upcoming gear you know go to go to the website you'll see free estimate and that's something that i work with bruce on so if it is something we want to give you the information you need to make a decision about sort of is this something worth going after or not so that's definitely that's something that uh just reach out to us and we can work together with you to to come up with what that high level estimate will look like that's that's what i do often <laughs> Um, anything else you want to add uh, about roadmaps? They're pretty simple. Yeah. I mean, at the yeah. end of the day, it's it's uh, coming up with that high level plan of mm-hmm. where you're trying to go. And and the the neat thing about going through this is we're excited about doing these roadmaps because we can bring in our experience of what we see people doing with yeah. SharePoint and, yep. and kind of that art of the possible. And it gives you a, a little bit of time to to dream and put some reality behind that dream um, versus just going in and getting one problem solved. Um, And sometimes that's the right thing to do. You're not really in that level of wanting to go after a roadmap. But if you're struggling with being successful Mm -hmm. um, with SharePoint, I think sometimes it means you need to step back and have that envisioning and set that roadmap so you can paint the picture because a lot of success with SharePoint is not the technology, it's the communication and, mm-hmm. and, the, and the rollout of the vision that you're getting everybody on the same page to say, what's the value? Mm-hmm. And um, if you're trying to just purely do it from technology, we see those are the ones that struggle yeah. where it's, it's just putting technology and the amount of stuff that you do. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's less stuff and, and it's it's spacing it out and having the right pace. It's funny when you first mentioned roadmap, I thought we were going to talk about the Office 365 roadmap and like how that's right, used. Right. And that's really it gets into you know you call it a roadmap. It's just sort of a, a, a 
plan of what is going to be released in the future, and it's very mm-hmm. sort of it's still very near term as far as what what things are coming, you know, what they're working on, and what's coming. This is more of yeah, as you were saying, it's not just the technology. It's it's looking at more of a comprehensive look at what you're doing. Right. Um, great. I love that we're doing this for folks. I love that it sounds like people are getting a lot of value out of what we're doing with the roadmap. So continue on uh, work with you to get some stuff definitely out on the website more about this and and uh, appreciate you doing this sure thanks Dan. thanks everybody for taking the time to listen have a wonderful day take care Bye-bye. adios bye bye